Today we will be talking about sequence. What is sequence? Sequence is basically known as pattern. In our everyday life, we follow a certain pattern, just like in terms of months. If the day is June, the next month is certain to be July, followed by August. So it will never happen that after July, you want to have vacation, it will become December immediately. It will never happen because we follow pattern. Aside from that, in terms of watching television programs, for example, in the morning, after watching Umagang Kay Ganda, it is automatically followed by Magandang Buhay, then Kapamilya Blockbuster. The next day after, we have the same sequence or pattern of television programs. Magang Kay Ganda, Magandang Buhay, then Kapamilya Blockbuster. Because we are following pattern. Aside from that, every day, whenever that we wake up, after waking up, what do we do next? We eat our breakfast. Then we take a bath. Then we go to school. After school, we go back home. We do our assignment. We eat our dinner. Then we sleep. Almost the same sequence of our pattern that we are doing every day. Another example. Wearing our clothes. After taking a bath, what do we do? To wear our clothes. We start wearing our socks. Followed by what? Our underwear. Then our pants. Then our shirt. That is our pattern of wearing our clothes. The next day, what do we do in wearing our clothes? We do the same thing, right? We wear our socks followed by our underwear, then our pants, then our shirts. Why? Because we are following pattern. But in, mathemat in mathematics, it's known as sequence. What is sequence? So sequence basically defined as the arrangement of objects with pattern. We do have two classification of sequence. What are the first are the types of sequence based on the number of terms. The first one is known as the finite sequence. Finite sequence has last term and it has countable number of terms. For example, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is a kind of a finite sequence. It has last term. What is the last term? The last term is 5. It has countable number of terms. How many terms do we have in all? 2, 3, 4, 5. So how many terms do we have? We do have 4 terms. So this is a kind of a finite sequence. Another example. A, B, C, D, E. This is also an example of finite sequence. It has last term. What is the last term? The last term is E. It has countable number of terms. How many terms do we have? We do have 5 terms. That is correct. So this is also an example of a finite sequence. Another type of sequence based on the number of terms is known as the infinite sequence. So counterpart of finite, so infinite sequence has no last term. It has uncountable number of terms because it is infinite. And lasting, it progresses continuously. What are the examples for this? 2, 3, 4, then followed by ellipses. So that symbolizes that after 4, there are more numbers following it. Since it is not indicated how many those numbers that follows after 4, so meaning it is an infinite or we don't have last term because we don't know what the last term is. Next thing, all positive numbers. It has no last, num last term. Why? Because we don't know what is the last positive numbers. It is uncountable because we don't know how many positive numbers we do have in all. And it progresses continuously. So it has no end. Since it has no end, we cannot count the number of terms present. Okay. Aside from the types of sequence based on the number of terms, we also have types of sequence based on pattern. And this time, we do have four classifications. And what are these? The first one is known as the arithmetic sequence. So for today, I'll be using a simple description for this type of sequence. But on the following sessions that we will have, I'll be giving you a more technical definition. But for now, let us use this one. A constant value is added for the progression of sequence. Example, 3, 7, 11, 15. This is an example of an arithmetic sequence. Why? Because there is a number constantly being added for the progression. 3 becoming 7, number 4 was added. 7 becoming 11, number 4 was added as well. 
and then 11 becomes 15, number 4 is also added. So this is a proof that this sequence is an example of an arithmetic sequence. Another one. 32, 25, 18, 11. A number is being subtracted. That is correct. But we can put that in this way. Since a number is being subtracted, meaning a negative number is being added. And that is specifically negative 7. Another one. Negative 5, negative 3, negative 1, 1. A number is being added. So what could be the number being added from negative 5 becoming negative 3? And negative 3 becoming negative 1, negative 1 becoming 1. What do you think? Okay, the correct answer is positive 2. Once we add positive 2 to negative 5, that will give us negative 3. Negative 3 plus 2, that will become negative 1. And negative 1 plus positive 2, that will be will give us positive 1. Okay, last example, 10, 2. Okay, as you see from the first two terms, the number decreases, meaning the number that's being added is a negative number. And that negative number is, okay, you are correct, negative 8. So these are the examples or kind, uh, rather examples of arithmetic sequence. Let's have the next one, arithmetic sequence. The geometric sequence. Again, I'll be using a simple description for this type of sequence, but on the following sessions, I'll be giving you a technical definition. A geometric sequence basically described as a constant value is multiplied for the progression of the sequence. So if in arithmetic sequence, we are adding a value, a constant value, in geometric sequence, we are multiplying a constant value, just like this one. 1 becoming 3, becoming 9, becoming 27. There is no number being added constantly. 1 becoming 3, the number being added is 2. Then 3 becoming 9, the number being added is 6. So that cannot fall under arithmetic sequence. Instead, what, what is happening to this type of sequence is that a number is being multiplied. 1 times 3 becomes 3. 3 times 3 becomes 9. And 9 times 3 becoming 27. So what is happening is that positive 3 is being multiplied for the progression of the sequence. Meaning, this type of sequence is under a geometric sequence. Let's have another example. Negative 2, 8, negative 32, 128. Notice that there is an alternate sign for the progression of the sequence. So once this happens, meaning the number that's being multiplied is a negative number. And that negative number being multiplied is negative 4. Okay, so negative 2 times negative 4, that will give us positive 8. 8 times negative 4 equals negative 32. Negative 32 times negative 4 equals 128. That is called a geometric sequence. Another one, 64, 32, 16, 8. There is no number being multiplied. That's what you might be thinking. What you might be observing is that a number is being divided. Being divided by 2. Since they are being divided by 2, we can put that mathematically as a number is being multiplied by 1 half. So if you do think that the progression is made by dividing by 3, meaning it is being multiplied by one-third. If the numbers are being divided by five, it means that the number are being multiplied by one hip. Okay, so keep that in mind. Last example. One becoming negative one-third, becoming positive one over nine, becoming negative one over 27. So notice that there is also an alternate sign, positive, negative, positive, negative. That is a distinct characteristic of a sequence under geometric. So keep that in mind. The number that's being multiplied here is negative one-third. Okay, so hope you understand what a geometric sequence is and what makes it different from arithmetic sequence. Let's have the third one. The third one is known as the harmonic sequence. So harmonic sequence, a constant value is added in the denominator for the progression of the sequence. 
So there's the word added again, but this time added only on the denominator part. So similar with arithmetic sequence, the difference is that the progression or the changes of number happens on the denominator part only. Second thing, keep in mind, harmonic sequence is usually written in fraction form. Let's have an example. 1 third 1 fifth 1 over 7. The numerator doesn't change, but the denominator changes from 3 becoming 5, 5 becoming 7. Positive 2 is being added on the denominator, meaning this falls under harmonic sequence. Another example. 1 over 12, 1 over 7, 1 over 8. A number is being subtracted. Still, this falls under harmonic sequence because the progression or the changes rather only happens on the denominator part. So we can say that a negative 5 is added at the denominator. Let's have last example for this one. 2 over 9, 2 over 13, 2 over 17. A number is being added at the denominator. And what number is it? Okay, positive 4 is added at the denominator. So if the changes happen on the denominator part only by adding a constant number, meaning it falls under the harmonic sequence. Hope you get the idea under harmonic sequence. Let's have the last one. The fourth kind of sequence is known as the Fibonacci sequence. What is a Fibonacci sequence? The number being added for the progression is based on the previous terms. What's the meaning of this? So let's have examples. Let's have this one. 1, 3, 4, 7, 11. Upon observing the progression of the numbers, there is no constant number being added, nor a constant number being multiplied. But upon observing the third term, you will see that the third term came from the sum of the previous two terms. 1 plus 3, that gives us 4. The next number appeared is 7 because 3 plus 4 is 7. Followed by 11 because the previous two terms are the numbers 4 and 7. And 4 plus 7 is 11. This is an example of Fibonacci sequence. So this is what make, makes Fibonacci sequence different from the first three sequences. Let's have another one. 5, 2, the third term, notice, it is again based on the sum of the previous two terms. 5 plus 2 is 7. Then the 9 came from the previous two terms, 2 plus 7 is 9. Then followed by 16 because the previous two terms are the number 7 and 9. And 7 plus 9, get, that gives us 16. Again, this is what a Fibonacci sequence. Let's have the third last example. 1, 0, the third term, came from the sum of the previous two terms. 1 plus 0 is 1. Followed by 1 again because the previous two terms are the number 0. And 1 and 0 plus 1 is 1. Followed by 2 because 1 plus 1 is 2. Then followed by 3 because 1 plus 2 is 3. So this is the characteristic of Fibonacci sequence. Hope you understand the four types of sequence based on their pattern. So let's have more examples and let us see if you somehow manage to understand the four types of sequence based on the pattern. Let's have this one. Let's determine the kind of sequence and supply the next term from the following. Number 1, negative 6, 12, negative 24, 48. What do you think the kind of sequence is this one? Is it an arithmetic, a geometric, a harmonic, or a Fibonacci? Notice that there is an alternate sign on the progression. Therefore, this falls under good, a geometric sequence. Because the progression is made by multiplying negative 2. Since negative 2 is the pattern behind the progression, therefore, the next term after 48 is negative 96 because 48 times negative 2 is negative 96. Let's have the second one. 4 becoming 5, then becoming 9, then becoming 14. Is it an arithmetic, a geometric, a harmonic, or a Fibonacci sequence? Okay, very good. The correct answer is a Fibonacci sequence because the progression is made by adding the previous two terms. 4 plus 5, that gives us 9. 5 plus 9, that gives us 14. Therefore, the next number after 14 is... Okay, 23 because 9 plus 14 is 
23. Very good. Let's have the next one. 1 over 4, 1 over 12, 1 over 36. Is it an arithmetic, a geometric, harmonic, or a Fibonacci? You might be thinking that this falls under harmonic, but you are wrong. Because 4 becoming 12, that gives us a difference of 8. 12 becoming 36, that's a difference of 24 and not 8. So this doesn't fall under a harmonic sequence because in order for this to become a harmonic sequence, there should be the same numbers added for the progression. Since they are different, so it is a not harmonic sequence. Instead, this falls under a geometric sequence. Why? Because the numbers are being multiplied by one third. Because one fourth times one third is one over twelve, and one over twelve times one third is one over thirty six. Therefore, the next number to appear is one over one hundred eight. Let's have the fourth one. One over four, one over twelve, one over twenty. Is this really now the harmonic sequence that we are looking for? 4 becoming 12, a difference of 8. 12 becoming 20, a difference of 8, of 8 again. Therefore, we are certain that this falls under a harmonic sequence. So, therefore, the next number to appear is 1 over 28. Let's have the last one. This one. Negative 3, negative 7, negative 11, negative 15. Harmonic, geometric, Fibonacci, or arithmetic. Okay. So this is the first type of sequence that we had. This is called an arithmetic sequence because there is the same number being added for the progression. And that is an arithmetic sequence. Therefore, the next number to appear after negative 15 is negative 19 since negative 4 is the number being added for the progression. Okay, so that's all for today. Hope you understand the difference between each kind of sequence in terms of pattern and in terms of number of terms. So see you on the next video. Thank you for listening.